Hi there Virgos, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading for the month of December 2017. So um, I'm feeling, first of all, financial squabbles coming into the relationship, okay? Um, be very careful, you know, um, finances is one of the, the major trigger for arguments and separations and divorces in relationships. So um, just make sure that you know that money is an it's a means to an end and nothing more and um, I feel like you you know this I feel that you know this but I feel like you know in terms of practicing what we know and, and applying what we know to real life it can be a little bit difficult so this is a month to kind of like when you get upset uh, take a breather take a moment step away from that conflict really try to calm yourself through you know some deep breaths and think about as well you know what do I love about this person dwell on what you love about the, the other person because a lot of the times you know Virgos tend to be quite critical of the people around them you can love but you can also really nitpick and 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 dwell on faults of the other person so this is the month where we need to be kind to others and we need to exercise that sense of you know wisdom and fortitude and operate from our higher self so that we can see the good in people and we can momentarily step away from conflict so that we don't escalate a situation okay it's also mercury in retrograde so there will be a lot of uh, things that needs to be rehashed things that that come up between you and other people if you've been sweeping them under the rug or if the arguments from you know years ago never got resolved those things are going to be itching to come up as well so it's kind of like the a fertile ground for you know a lot of opposition it's a fertile ground for uh, arguments and disagreements to take place and if we are aware that the energy of the planets are also affecting the way we behave we might err on the side of you know de-escalation rather than letting silly things get out of control and having to deal with the consequences when it doesn't have to be that bad okay so that's just my advice for you guys I'm also feeling as well there is some type of a third party involved here in your relationship. So let's go into your reading. Yeah, there's some type of a third party here. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation. And the foundation is what you know to be true. We have here the Three of Cups in the reverse. And the Three of Cups in the reverse is a situation where there are three people involved in a relationship. Usually somebody who is juggling options, who is juggling, you know, multiple options, multiple suitors, still dating around and still trying to figure out who they should commit themselves to. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody that does want to have a relationship, but they're not really sure whether or not they're ready to commit okay so I feel like there is somebody who's commitment shy they like the thrill and the excitement of meeting new people forming new relationships and you know just being um, just being able to date and so if you're hoping for some I, I feel like some of you are hoping for somebody to pick you to settle down and to you know finalize some plans with you so for those of you who are single and you're dealing with this person who you know is dating around I'm sensing that you're going to be seizing communication with them. The uh, Four of Swords is usually like um, a meditative state. When it's in the reverse position, it's like we're not sitting here hoping and praying for things to get better, hoping and praying that person will choose us over other people. I feel like you're gonna be kind of like coming into this sense of empowerment where you're just like, who is that person to make me wait around? I'm not going to wait around. I'm going to move on with my life. And I'm going to try to, you know, find somebody that is willing to be exclusive to me. So if you find yourself as well uh, juggling and you've taken a long time to decide between um, multiple people, and especially if you have an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, I feel like they're going to be giving you some ultimatums or they're going to be 
sort of stopping cutting out some type of communication with you okay so if you're dealing with an air sign i feel like it's a no nonsense you know type of a person and they're gonna want things to be very clear cut to be very black or white are you picking me and are you dating me exclusively or are you dating other people so that's what i'm feeling here and i'm sensing that you need to be really uh quick when it comes to making these decisions in the past we have the Magician and the Death card, two major Arcana cards. So in the past, you've had a relationship partner that was very, very karmic. For some of you, there was some type of a finality. The relationship is done over with. And um, I'm honestly seeing as well this combination. I feel like some of you might be a widow or widower. And I'm sorry for your loss if that's the case I feel like somebody might have passed away and as a result of it you are currently single and I'm also feeling as well you were dealing with somebody like this we have the magician this is someone who's very very smart they collect trivia they collect random esoteric knowledge they know everything about everything and um, they're like a fixer upper you know like they constantly tinker with things, fix things, and their mind is so over, overly active that they have trouble um, sitting still. They have trouble, you know, um, having a domesticated type of a lifestyle. So I feel like they weren't ready for it. And they were still as well. They, they wanted to go out. They wanted to have a very robust lifestyle. And I'm also sensing there might have been a lot of um, issues when it comes to them drinking or going out so much or, you know, constantly going out with their friends. And it became a major problem for the relationship, for the intimacy in your relationship. I'm also feeling as well, we have here, this is somebody that is, this is somebody that is um, meant for everybody. They're not supposed to be contained to just confined to just one person. So they might have trouble committing themselves to you. They might have trouble committing to just one person. And I feel like this person is no longer in your life, but it's like, you can't really stay mad at them. You have trouble kind of staying mad at them. And usually I think of the magician as someone who's very attractive, very handsome, very beautiful, very good to look at. They're very popular. They have a lot of friends, life of the party, smart, intelligent, witty. So like the whole package, but for whatever reason, this relationship was not conducive to, you know, a domesticated situation. It was not conducive to a happy home life. And so you might have sailed away from this person, which brings us to the present moment. And in the present moment, we have here the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords, basically, you're dating somebody that you're not very compatible with, okay? This is like mindless, brainless type of bickering. Arguments that are, um, it's not over anything important arguments that just for argument's sake okay so it's not really leading anywhere it's not really conducive to anything and i feel some of you are currently dealing with an air sign an aquarius a gemini or a libra and uh, i like the way this um, card shows up if you look at her she she has like a very um what is that word it just escaped my mind she has a very naughty look on her face you know, she has a smirk on one side and a straight face on the other. So you're dealing with someone who is very, very intelligent. They're very witty. They might be quite eccentric. And they also, as well, have been through a lot of things in their lives. This is somebody that can be considered a little bit, you know, strange. Like, a, almost like a mad scientist. Very, very intelligent. Doesn't really care how he or she looks. They throw on whatever... And, you know, they're not interested in being uh, eye candy or arm candy to anybody. Whereas you might have had a previous lover that really cared about the way they looked, really cared about these superficial things, you know, how they looked, how their hair looked, how their nails looked, how their suit looked, whatever the situation. I feel like you're dating a different type and you're dating somebody that is very low maintenance, doesn't care how she or he looks 
and they care about intelligence. And so you're stepping from one relationship partner into a strange new arena and it can feel a little bit unsettling and I feel some of you are feeling unprepared. If in the past you've been given free reign to do whatever you want, I'm sensing there is a lot more accountability in this environment, okay? If in the past your partner also gave you a lot of leeway, I feel like this is also this new relationship is one where somebody is can be, you know, nickel and diming you. Somebody wants a lot of balance in relationships, somebody expects like a more egalitarian relationship and I also feel there's this sense as well of like feeling very incompatible with your partner. I feel like it's starting to dawn on you that, you know, is this really the one for me? Because we've been arguing over nothing. And I'm also feeling the other person is like your equal match. They're just as intelligent as you. They're just, uh, they, they have a really good eye for detail. They don't really miss anything. And so if you're telling them a white lie, they will know. And likewise, I feel like they're in the upright position. So I can't say that they're being deceitful or lying. But I just feel like, you know, it's like somebody itching for a fight. They want verbal sparring and they want mental sparring because they get off on that. But I feel like for earth signs, earth signs are not overly confrontational. And so when there is that much opposition and just mindless chatter and argument in a relationship, um, it can drive you nuts. So I feel like you're dealing with someone that might be very, very talkative. And it's kind of wearing you out mentally. That's what it feels like to me. They might not be a bad person, but I feel like there's just incompatibility. When you want quiet and solitude, I feel like they invade your space. When they want quiet and solitude, you're, you want action. You want to do things and to experience things. So I feel like there's a little bit of a timing mix up between the two of you. Uh, timing wise, you're not on the same vibration. Okay, you're not on the same wavelength. Crowning this reading is something that um, you are thinking about. We have here, this is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is love, communication, messages coming from afar, having a lot of options, having a lot of people showing interest in you. And we also have as well the Seven of Swords. For those of you who are thinking about, you know, especially juggling and I do feel as well, let me see, if you are thinking about juggling, there's temptation here. Be very, very careful. On the other hand, if you fear that, oh, wow, my partner is really attractive and beautiful and they're traveling and they're really, really smart, somebody's going to, you know, want to scoop them up, they're going to succumb to temptation. And if you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, I don't feel that you need to worry. Because I feel like, you know, they're on the up and up. They're, they have high moral standards. And so they're not going to do anything that will jeopardize the relationship. I don't think you need to worry. If you're worried as well, oh, my, you know, current relationship partner is, you know, too, still heavily involved with his or her ex or still talking to them. I feel like they're talking to them in a chummy, friendly type of a way not in a flirtatious way. So I don't feel that you need to worry, okay? And then on the other hand, if you are in a relationship here with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see some of you are kind of like doing your research, digging into a situation, checking up on things just to make sure because there's that sense of temptation or that sense of doubt coming into the relationship. But I definitely feel the relationship is solid. I feel like you've got great chemistry. You've got great communication here. And this is a situation where your partner is working with you to build things rather than tearing things down. Um, so I'm feeling there is a little bit of like, what if my partner is doing this? And all of these things are kind of unfounded, okay? On the other hand, if you are juggling multiple options, I feel like you need to solidify some plans and you need to, you know, narrow down a person. If you have an earth sign in mind, it seems like a very, very good prospect. So another Virgo, a Taurus or a Capricorn, if you have an air sign that you're thinking about, should I settle down with this person? 
I feel like it can be short term, but it's not going to lead you, you know, down a rosy path where the two of you get married and live happily ever after because of this energy, this endless bickering type of an energy. And I feel like they they argue just to argue. Air signs are very verbal. They need that connection with another person. So I feel like with earth signs, it's more like the sensual aspect, the tact tactile experience, touching somebody and being next to them. But with air signs, they don't even need to be next to you. They just need to constantly hear your voice, constantly, you know, bounce ideas off you. That's how they relate. And if that's not something that you want, this relationship will not work because there's going to be a lot of power struggles and a lot of incompatibilities that will creep into the relationship and make the relationship feel almost like very tiring is what I'm feeling. I feel like this person makes you feel very tired. Okay. So not that they're boring. It's not that they're boring at all, but I feel like do we have to talk about this? Do we have to talk about this now? Do we need to talk about this again i feel like those are the key words that are coming into the relationship and it feels to me to be very redundant and tiring and you're a very end result oriented type of a person the process of talking about things you don't really want to go through it okay so i just feel like you know it can be short term but i, I don't feel it plan, um, playing out in a way where the two of you you know there is a happily ever after um, I'm also feeling for some of you, there is some, it, it's almost like doubts about how faithful your relationship partner is. And I feel like they're, they're faithful. I feel like they're solid, they're faithful. But, you know, from your end, I want you to also, you know, turn that question back to you. How faithful are you to your relationship partner? And I'm sensing that some of you have some options that you're juggling, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Virgos, I wish you all the best and uh, enjoy the holiday season with your families, your loved ones. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.